Hello everybody, this is the Swedish Game Dev and today we're going to talk about creating sprites for noobs. And I mean noobs in the most loving kind of way, because in all honesty I am also a noob. Maybe I'm a bit further down the path from you, but I'm still a noob. So today we're going to check out a way to start creating your own sprites. These sprites can be used in your visual novel engine of choice. I prefer RemPy, but you can use it in any engine you want. No, we're not going to use AI, and no, we're not going to just download material. We're going to borrow a bit, but we're still going to create our own sprites. And we'll start by checking out the tools we'll be using for this tutorial. Okay, so let's go. You're going to need some kind of drawing tablet. It could be a simple pen tablet, as you see here, or it could be an iPad or a Wacom screen, it doesn't matter. But you'll need some kind of drawing tablet. We will also be using a free drawing app called Medbang Paint, and it's available for almost all platforms. So just check it out by Googling Medbang Paint. In Medbang, we're gonna start by creating a new file, and the size is gonna be twice the size for your game screen in RenPy. In my case, it's twice the size of 1920 times 1080. It's always a good idea when creating graphics for computer games to create everything at double the size. You can scale it down because it's much harder to scale graphics up. One of the cool things about Medibang is that you can download free materials that you can use in your projects. In this case, we're gonna download a material called Template Girl. And this is a drawing template of a female character that we are going to trace. We click the materials icon that is a speech bubble. Then we go to item. And then we go to download new material and search for template girl. After we have downloaded the material, we just drag and drop it into our scene and we adjust the size so it fits perfectly. And just to make sure to keep things organized, we're going to rename the layer to template. And we're also going to lock the layer, so we won't mess it up by mistake. And then we're going to create a new layer, and this new layer is going to be called sketch. And there's a checkbox when you create layers, if you press the cog in Medibang, this checkbox is called draft. And if we have this checked, Medibang will know that this is just a sketch and will not include it in the final rendering of the file. And using this sketch layer and the template we have in the background, we're going to be taking advantage of the fact that someone has kindly created a template for us that we can just design our sprite on top of. And since this is a beginner's video, I'm gonna follow the template pretty close and just add some simple touches. If you have more drawing skills, be free to add more details and you don't have to follow the template as much as I do now. And when we feel happy about our design and our sketch is finished, we're gonna create a new layer called ink on top of this layer. In this layer, we're gonna draw the final ink drawing. The most important thing about creating your ink drawing is that you should vary your line's thickness. And by this I mean the outlines of the image is thicker and the details are thinner. And you can adjust this in the brush settings in Medibang. This will guide your viewer's eyes and also make the image look better. And when our ink drawing is complete, we're gonna create a new layer beneath the ink layer. And we're gonna call this layer color. And in here, we're just gonna paint some colors. You can choose any colors you want. I want with a blonde hair and a blue shirt. After we've done this, we wanna export our file so we can use it in RemPy. We do this by going to File Export. Make sure to choose Transparent Background for your PNG. Otherwise, you'll get a white, ugly background to your sprite. Another thing you want to do is to change the width of the sprite when you have explored it and also the height so that it fits your screen. In my case it meant that I put the new height of the exported image to 1080 pixels so it fits my game screen in RemPy which is the visual novel engine I use. I simply use preview in macOS but you can use any program you want. And now it's time to boot up RemPy and check how this looks. And voila, 
we have our very own sprite to use in our game and using this method that you learned in this video you can now create your own sprites and what are some next steps well just using templates might stifle your uh, progression as an artist so if you want to learn to draw you should try to learn if you really want to learn how to draw you should learn art fundamentals which often include anatomy how the body is constructed and the 3d shapes but hey this is a good start isn't it good work creating your first own sprite i hope you learned something and have a great day and i'll see you soon in another video bye